Hi, I'm James Handler. Welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers. Today's newsmaker is Eugene De Robertis, Assistant Professor of Psychology here at Brookdale. Today we'll be discussing what is offered from the Psychology and Human Services Department. Hey Eugene, thank you for coming in. Hi James, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. Now, you're here to let us know what opportunities are available from the Psychology and Human Resources Department, uh, Human Services Department. Uh, Could you please talk about the Psychology Department to begin with? Sure. Our Psychology Department is um, offering currently a transfer degree in Associates of Arts uh, where students are required to take a general psychology course, a lifespan development course, and a quantitative methods course. In addition, they'll take their general education classes and some electives within the discipline. And this is readying them for their receiving institution, where they'll get the majority of their classes within the discipline. Okay, and this is going to help them transfer to another Mm -hmm. college? It's primarily, yeah, it's a transfer degree. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, human services, not many people know about this. Uh, What what is human services? Our human services degree is in Associates in Applied Sciences. It is not a transfer degree currently, though we're thinking about um, making a transfer degree. Human services is not a discipline like psychology. Psychology, like sociology, anthropology, and history, is a discipline. Uh, Human services is a social movement, a social activist movement. Uh, we're training individuals to go out and to work uh, in the community and community agencies that deal with people who have problems that are typical of um, individuals who are coming from lower socioeconomic brackets uh, or people who have difficulties where uh, sometimes it's, it's hard to get help uh, from, a, from psychologists or from a psychology profession. Um, Problems like HIV and AIDS, problems like homelessness, problems like domestic violence and child abuse, things of this nature. Uh, What we're doing is training individuals to go out into the community and to be experts at referral. There are many agencies in the community that provide services, products, money, shelter, things of all, you know, things of all kinds uh, for people with these sorts of problems. And we're training generalists to go out into the community and function as power professionals alongside individuals like social workers, psychologists, psychiatrists, and so forth. Okay, so you, you, you say you're working with the community, you're working mm-hmm. in the community, so it sounds a lot more hands-on? It something. is hands-on. Mm-hmm. Uh, people, when they come into the Human Services Program, unlike the Psychology Program, are required to do 225 hours of internship work, which means that they're going to be going to community agencies. Uh, they're going to be working there, getting some training, getting some supervision, And uh, this works out to their benefit because by the time that they graduate from Brookdale, they already have some experience under their belt. And uh, mental health as a field in general, whether you're talking about social work, psychology, or human services, really looks for experience. Degrees are one thing, but experience and credentials are very important to being able to get a job and have any sort of upward mobility in in, uh, the health sciences uh, broadly construed. Okay, and you said before that there's, at the moment, it's not a transfer option, but there's, no. there's chances of it. Yeah, we're, we're planning on uh, instituting a transfer option at some point because many of our students go on to other colleges. And, and currently, if you have an Associates of Applied Science from Brookdale in Human Services, there are places you could transfer, like the Metropolitan College of New York, but it is currently not set up specifically for transfer, which the, the psychology option is. Who do you think this uh, program might appeal to? Well, anybody who certainly who's suffered from any of the uh, problems or difficulties that I mentioned before, like homelessness, HIV and AIDS, alcoholism, drug abuse, domestic violence, oftentimes individuals who have been through these sorts of problems, they find um, a lot of meaning and sense of purpose uh, in those experiences by being able to get some training and go and help others who've had similar sorts of, ex- who are going through similar sorts of things uh, that they've gone through. Um, but certainly anyone who's interested in, in helping out and improving the quality of life in our community, but who does not want to go into a private practice. Um, psychology and, and even to a certain degree social work is uh, increasingly focusing in on opening a private practice and uh, charging a lot of money per hour to deal with individuals. The training for a human services generalist is you know, to, to give a person a broad spectrum, a broad understanding of social problems so that we uh, can refer people to the proper agencies in our community for help. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us on Brookdale Newsmakers. My name is James, uh, my name is James Hand, and I just wish you all a good day. Thank you.